during your friends. Today I will show you how to use warp modifier. I don't know how do you pronounce warp or warp. You need to have two objects. You can use uh, empty objects or just adding cube. It's up to you. I, I will be using uh, two cubes. One has to be on the top, another has to be on the bottom. You choose by using this. This tool will pick this object and you have to choose this. By using this you can control behavior of upper object. Pay attention how strong uh, this modifier behaves, how strong it's supposed to be. But this one you can still modify behavior by using additional object. You can push forward by, co by using this. As you can see, this object is inside this. As for as you can see, I can still control shape of this original object. When I move at the same time, you should be able you should be able to see smooth transitions. When I when I move two objects at the same time. So you can create nice beautiful animation. Whatever you like. So you can create model of the cushion or whatever you like. Mm, radius strength. You can change the strength to minus. Wait a minute. What are you thinking to do? When you apply this. I just was thinking if I can use a, another modifier warp on the top of this. So we can copy this shift the D. I wonder if I can use another modifier. Mm, let's check. As you can see, dear friends, uh, it, uh, it seems to be possible to use uh, another modifier on the top of this one. So you can create a model of cushion or loft object. Let's check. Oh, even better, even model of the flag. It's up to you how do you want to use the modifier. As you can see, I can use two the same modifiers on the same object. I hope I was helpful.